Hey loves, this time this is a collaboration video with Link to Beauty, one of my good friends Donna here on the YT. So make sure you check out her channel as well as stay tuned for this video. So the first thing I'm using is the Skincare Hydro Milk and this is really good for just hydration and I use this before I apply any of my makeup and I just applied some of the Pure Lease Eye Serum underneath my eyes and now I'm going to be taking some of the Oil Lay CC cream which I love and I'm going to also go ahead and apply that to my skin and just brush it in with a makeup brush the color that I actually have in the CC cream by oil of Olay is a medium to dark which is really light and I'm going to go ahead and apply some of my eyeshadow primer and for my crease I'm going to be using LA colors contour palette I love the brown in that and it just makes a really great transition color so I use it a lot in a lot of my videos um, prior to that I was using L'Oreal's um, pressed powder which was also a great transition color for any type of eye look so I'm going to be using my Sonia Kashuk brush here as you see and I'm just going to sweep that into above the crease and up now one of these eyeshadow palettes that I have is by Matisse Elite which I actually got for a dollar when they stopped selling them but you can use just about any very light pink as you want you don't have to go out and buy anything new just use what you have in your makeup collection already and just take that and apply it to the lower lids of your eyes and something really inexpensive again which is the LA Colors 16 eyeshadow palette and this is a purple color that I'm going to be using and I'm just going to take a, one of my blending brushes, which I love, and I'll put the information below for you guys. I'm just going to sweep that into the bottom portion, like basically half of my lids, and a little bit into the crease. Now being that the makeup is really inexpensive, it still does pack a great color. And another one of my dollar eyeshadows by Matisse Elite is Velvet Plum, which is a matte colored dark purple eyeshadow. And like I said, you can use any dark color purple eyeshadow in your collection. You don't have to go out and get the brand that I have here. You just want to take that and put it more or less at a V at the edges and sweep that as well into the crease of your eyelids. LA Colors 12 eyeshadow palette which I love it was like a dollar ninety nine at iCade House and I'm gonna take that brown it's like a reddish brown I really love that brown I use it in a lot and I'm gonna put that above the crease just to blend the colors in well give it a good transition most of the makeup that I'm using is available at iCadeHouse.com and I'll post the link for you girls below and for my brow highlight I'm using that same LA Colors I um, LA Colors contour palette and this is more or less like a matte eggshell egg color and I love this because I really don't like too much shimmer on my underneath my brows so I like to use more or less a matte color for the inner tear duct I'm gonna go back into that contour palette and I'm just going to use more or less that pearl color and blend it in and it probably looks a little crazy right now but once I get it done the look will come together the eyeliner gel that I'm using is by Micah Beauty and I did receive this in one of my monthly subscription boxes and I tell you what ladies I really love this eyeliner it does not dry out and it's not too cheap but let me tell you it's worth it some things you just got to pay a little bit more for and I would say the eyeliner is one of them I'm going to go ahead and mix my Revlon and LA Colors foundation together just to give me the exact match because sometimes it is so hard to find the right color match for your skin tone so what I do is I just go ahead and I use what I have and I'll match them together mix and match them together just to get the perfect tone for me and I'm using the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I love this sponge. You can get this from Walmart for like $5.99 or also Ulta has it as well. And for my highlight, I'm going to go ahead and use my Mary Kay in Beige 4, which is a matte full coverage foundation. It is a little bit too light for my skin, but it's perfect as a highlight, so I use this consistently. And I'm just going to take the bottom portion of the sponge and blend that in. This sponge is amazing and it's a must have. Now for my contouring, I'm using Black Ups Cosmetics and this of course is not really that cheap but I do like it. It was something that I had on hand so I just decided to use it. And I'm just going to take that Beauty Blender sponge and just blend it in and my contour in.
and for my nose bridge I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk brush and blend that in. Sonia Kashuk is a really inexpensive um, line especially at Target and you can get her brush collection for really cheap so I would highly suggest their brushes and just for an extra bit of highlight I'm going to use the other portion of the Black Ups Cosmetics which is their contour stick and I'm just going to go over where I highlighted underneath my eyelids as well as I'm going to highlight my nose bridge, forehead, cupid's bow and chin area. The sponge works really well and I use the sponge for mainly my entire face. This sponge is one of the best beauty blending sponges that I've ever tried and I've tried many of them and I will say that Real Techniques is the one that you must have. The price is just great but the blending capabilities that it has is perfect. The sponge is always soft so you don't have to dampen it so much but it's a really great blending brush. So the look is coming together and I'm just going to do a little extra more contouring with that LA Colors Contour Palette. I love this contour palette. You can pick it up at IK House as well. And it's a must have. There are two different shades or two different uh, color collect shades in the spectrum. <laughs> There's two different color shades in the spectrum. Um, but I love the LA Colors. And a little bit nice setting powder which is not one of my faves. But I'm just going to go ahead and use it for the video. I have been trying not to buy the Sasha Buttercup um, that I've heard about so I'm really trying to use up what I had before I purchase anything new. Now back into that LA Colors Contour Palette I decided I would use their highlighting press powder because it's a little bit lighter and it just really works it's just as well but sometimes you might need a little bit extra of something else. Now to line my lower eyelids I'm going to be using LA Girls Gel Eyeliner Pencil. This pencil is really soft. I'm not like a huge fan of eyeliner pencils, but this one is a very soft cold pencil. And I'm just going to take one of my Sonia brushes and smudge that into my lower lids. And now for my mascara. One of my new favorites is LA Girls Mega Lash Mascara. For the price point, this is also available at ikhouse.com. Your lashes will look beautified, ladies, for real. You don't have to spend a lot on mascara, but I do recommend getting mascara with like nice big brushes. I don't really care too much for the little brushes. I will use the little brushes, especially for the lower lashes. That's when they're really great to me because they're smaller. You can get into the inner tear duct and there's just less mess. But with this brush here, you can do both top and bottom. And like I said, it's a really nice brush, um, a really nice mascara for the price. Now into the inner tear duct, I'm just going to use some of the LA Colors Contour Palette again, which I did use um, prior for the upper portion of my inner tear duct. And now I'm going to apply for the bottom. And it is time to use my facial setting powder or facial press powder, which I always use is the Milani Multitask uh, Facial Powder, which is in the color tan medium. I love that uh, press powder. It's just one that I always use. And for a little bronze look, I'm going for the Wet n Wild collection. And this is the Fergie collection. And I'll post the information below. But I did pick this up at Walgreens. So yeah, ladies, really inexpensive makeup. And you can get a flawless facial look. To highlight my under eye area, I'm going to be using a Baked, which is also available at Target or also Walmart or Walgreens. You can pick that up there. But very pretty color and this is just their baked blush that I'm using as a highlight on my nose and my cheek areas. And to line my lips I'm going to be using one of NYX's lip liner pencils and this is in the color dark brown. And sometimes it's so hard to find like the perfect color brown to me it is. So I just use the lip liner pencils and on top of that I'm going to be using LA Colors lipstick just to moisten it and allow it to look a little bit more lipsticky like not so dry. So now it's time for the hair and this is a unit that I actually created with some Ally Express hair that I will be reviewing really soon. This is their wavy unit and I think it's three bundles so I wasn't really a huge fan of the middle part. I'm not really sure why but I'm not a huge fan of any middle parts. So I'm just going to put some mousse on my hair and get that part out and kind of give myself like a little funky hairstyle look you know. Brush that mousse in and apply one of my favorite products which is Topic Keratin Hair Filler Fibers which will give my edges the perfect look and make them look full and make them look like they're really really there. I 
love that topic here carotene hair full of fibers if you ladies ever need anything for thin edges or such check them out so this is the finished look i hope you girls enjoyed it really something simple and inexpensive and make sure that you rate comment subscribe and if you want to wig me you can always check out my website gone with the wind wigs .com. other than that have a great night and as always make sure like you said like i said rate comment subscribe and please make sure to click on the link below to check out my good friend donna from link to beauty for her collaboration for purples as well and as always, I love you guys and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.